Alright guys, let's, we're back! Let's check out this thingy. Th this must be below! Is that a fire hose on your tongue? Uh oh, it's moving! <laughs> that is a snack attack! And you love it! Alright, here we go! <laughs> uh, the reason why I recommend putting the scarecrow pin on Mario, I mean the true form pin on Mario, is because if you get turned into a scarecrow, you can only use special attacks, and, well, Mallow special is his best thing. Oh! Room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Uh, <laughs> tongue germs! <laughs> yeah, that's his attack. He licks you. He can also eat you later on in the game. I, I, should, I shouldn't say later on in the game, I should say later on in the fight. Anyway, so Mario needs to be in his original form because his attack is better than his special. Though they're both pretty decent. I mean, even his special. He's like the most balanced character. Can't stand it. The hunger, the hunger. Oh my god, he ate Mallow! I will avenge you! <laughs> Make sure you've got items for when you're alone, just in case. But I've got plenty of items at the moment, so we're good. I've got a... Uh, I've got a Kiro Kiro Cola, a couple of mushrooms, a couple pick-me-ups. Oh, actually, you can't use a pick-me-up on yourself. That was scary! Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm saving the flower points for any HP rain. Oh, here comes a scarecrow. Stick to a body. Head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow. La, la, la. Scarecrow funk. This won't even affect Mario, so you won't even be able to see how it affects it. So, yeah. <laughs> The scarecrow is actually kind of a cute form because they have it uh, uh, like a little scarecrow in each character's color scheme. It's kind of silly. Kind of silly. It's another scarecrow try. Don't even try Mario, stupid Belome. <laughs> it's pointless, I tell you, pointless. I want a smart opponent, not you, dummy. Uh oh, he's gonna eat him again. <laughs> and by the way, there's nothing that you can do to prevent the snack attack. So yeah. As you can see, Belome really isn't that threatening of a boss. He's more of a mini boss, if anything. So, you're gonna beat him pretty dang fast if you're at level 4 or level 5. Especially if you got hammer, the hammer and your good equipment e equipped, like, a, like the shirt and pants, so, you know, to prevent uh, more damage from occurring. Sleep Sauce. Oh my god, Sleep Sauce is not good. Oh no, Mario's asleep. Uh, you can recover from sleep if Belom attacks you and you block it, but otherwise you recover from it normally if you don't get attacked. And he's gonna get eaten again. <laughs> now he's gonna attack Mario normally. Okay, now Mario's awake because I blocked it. Yes, you can block when you're sleeping, so that which makes absolutely no sense, but I'm not gonna question it because it wakes me up. <laughs> and he spits off Mallow again. If you defeat, if you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> that was pathetic, eh? But whatever, it's over. Woo! Alrighty, let's see what's going on. Whoa, what happened to that switch? Milo must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Oh my god, water! It's water! It's wet! Okay, here's a mini game. <laughs> it's foggy too. I don't know if you can see that on camera. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Sure. You'll start off at first at the falls. You control pad and move left and right and score coins. Press B button to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there's a few traps as to what'll happen. That will just keep that a surprise. Now off you go. I wonder if you can pause this. No, you can't. Uh, so, so if if this camera runs out by the time this uh, Midas server course ends, I'm, I apologize, but I don't think it will. Honestly, I'm just going to take the shortest route through here. If you go in those seals, like little holes in there, those are caves. But uh, you can get some nice items from the caves if you want to go into one, but. To save time, I'm not going to. I think there's a frog coin this way. Yes, there is. Okay. 
It helps if you memorize the course a little bit, but of course on your first run you aren't going to know where the stuff is, so... Okay, here's the second part. Barrel rolling! Woo! Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointer? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab the coins along the way. Ding! Ding! <laughs> Jump on the next barrel before they collide! Or you'll change course. You said you'll change course, yeah. When it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Sometimes you want to change course, and sometimes you do. Oh, and uh, beware the fish. Here we go! Uh, this time I want to change course because there's more coins on this side of the river. This time I'm going to stay on course. Uh, do I want to change? Yes, no, I mean, no, I don't. There's more coins on this side. You got to kind of react really fast. Okay, I didn't react fast enough to it on that one. Uh, yes, this is the one that has the most coins. Woohoo! I think I have to change. No, I don't. Whoa, fish! <laughs> fish are deadly. They make you drop coins, actually. Uh, yes, this one gives you more coins. I'm just pretty much taking guesses, because I forgot this half of the river. Uh, yes, yes, yeah! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You'll definitely avoid the fish. Whoa, if you're jumping in rhythm to, those, to getting those coins. And looks like we're near the end of the course. And looks like we're going to make... Oh! <laughs> Make it on camera, so that is awesome. Yeah, if you want to, you can uh, make notes of which side to be on, so you know when to change course. There will always be a barrel at, e at each coin intersection, so you know which side... I mean, so you can change course. Oh boy, I'm on his head. Wasn't that fun? You got 61 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas server for frog coins. That's first time bonus. I'll trade, give you one coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know frog coins are green ones and tadpole ponds got more info on them. You got 61 coins, so I get one frog coin for my trade and awesome. And he'll hold my extras. Yes, you don't get to keep the coins, but as you collect them, you'll be able to uh, get some stuff. Whoa, I got a knock-knock shell. Awesome item. Okay, if you talk to this guy, you can try it again, but you have to cost. You have to pay for it. So, uh, no thank you. If I wanna, if you want to go through a course again, just go through, uh, um, uh, yes, I'm saving my game. Just go through Kiro Sewers again. And that's it for this uh, little mini game part. That was awesome. Let's go to Tadpole Pond. Okay, I'll take you through a little uh, tour of the pond. There's nothing here. There appears to be nothing here. And there's nothing here. Go through here. This is Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. This is a little, another little mini game. They won't play with strangers, so go and meet Frog Fuchsia first. Yeah, I have to meet the. Uh, uh, pal this area. What the heck, I'll save again. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that just yet in this part because it is a story sequence. So let's talk to this guy. I am the composer, Tozowski. I am trying to create my next masterpiece, but I have got the composer's block. You want the music lesson for more? Yeah, sure. Let's stop at reading notes. See the five lines between the second and third lines from the top lies Do, Do, Re, Mi, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's basically it. Now you're on the way to composing. Oh, that's the end of this part. See you guys later.